How does a cloud, a soft white thing in the sky, produce rain? In other words, why does rain fall? Well, gravity, obviously. But why in raindrops? Why not just all at once? Or why doesn't it fall as soon as the water evaporates? It's pretty simple. Let me explain. Step 1. Evaporation. Let's zoom in on a puddle. You see a lot of water molecules, all moving around. One by one, these molecules will just so happen to escape the puddle and move far into the atmosphere above. This is what we mean by evaporation. Step 2. Condensation. Great, now we have water molecules floating around in the air. But as I'm sure you've noticed, rain falls from up, not from the side. Fortunately, water vapor weighs less than the normal air around it. So it rises up in the atmosphere, just like a balloon would. As the water vapor rises into the atmosphere, the air around it becomes colder and colder. Cooler air cannot hold as much water vapor as the warm air can, so the excess water vapor condensates into tiny water droplets or ice crystals around dust or salt particles. To explain, imagine if you have a square inch of air. When it is warm, it can store 10 water molecules, but when it gets cold, it can only store 5 water molecules. The other 5 water molecules attach to dust particles in the air, forming raindrops, or if it's cold enough, snowflakes. These tiny droplets then form clouds. Step 3. Precipitation. Within these clouds, water droplets continue to collide and combine with each other, growing larger and heavier. Eventually, these droplets become too heavy to stay suspended in the air, and gravity pulls them down as precipitation. That's why we don't have the whole contents of the cloud falling down on us below all at once. Depending on the temperature of the atmosphere, precipitation can fall as rain, snow, sleet, or hail. Now here's a question. Why doesn't the rain fall right after it gets into the atmosphere? Remember how I said that the high atmosphere is cold, and that forces the water vapor to condensate? Well, actually, the atmosphere isn't constantly cold, but parts of it are warm and parts cold. These are called warm and cold fronts. When the wind blows our water vapor from the warm front into the cold front, that is where the condensation actually happens, causing the rain shortly after. Anyways, this is Mentor Mike. Leave a like below for more videos like this.